Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Savvy. I am back again with another video because I am not consistent and it's Monday. So here it is. My hair is crazy as per usual. So don't mind me if I decide to fix it throughout the video. But um, this video for the week is going to be items that TikTok inspired me to purchase. So a little fun fact, I actually don't have a TikTok. I don't make TikToks. I don't watch TikToks really. But I have seen a couple of people post some of theirs to their Instagram accounts. So I've seen a few. Um, but these items were just items that are highly talked about on TikTok. And it kind of just, you know, twisted my arm to purchase them to make this video. That's why I did it. But some of these items I actually already had which was pretty convenient. Some of these items I had my eyes on, but I just didn't have the extra push to buy them. So thanks TikTok. Um, and then other items I actually had no idea even existed or I just didn't ever have my eyes on um, or even ever have considered purchasing them. So I'll go ahead and go through the items. There's only like nine or 10. Um, I'll give them like a rating or a review, tell you guys if I would purchase them again or recommend you guys to purchase them. And yeah. So there's only one item I actually don't have and that's because I threw it away and I'll explain why. But let's get into this video so it's not super long. Don't forget before we get started, like this video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel. I will also link my Instagram account down below too. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and show some love. Let's do this. So first item I'm going to talk about is the brand The Ordinary. This skincare brand is like really highly talked about. Um, I hear about it all the time and I actually heard about it prior to um, TikTok users mentioning it. And it's the AHA BHA chemical peel solution. So it's really cool. It's like a really deep red. It's pretty intimidating at first. Um, when you put it on, a lot of people I've heard said that it burns a little bit. It didn't burn my skin. Um, I had just put a little bit on my forehead, each cheek, my chin, and my nose, and then I rubbed it in, left it for the 10 minutes that it says. So I've only used it one time prior to filming this video. I can't really give it an honest rating or review just because I haven't used it enough. Skincare products, hair care products. Um, I feel like you have to give it a couple chances before you really give it an honest rating. So for that matter, I can't really rate it just yet, but everyone's been raving about it. So I liked the way that it felt on my skin. Um, it did actually make my, my skin feel tighter. So once I took the mask off, my skin definitely felt like my pores were closed and my skin felt very tight. Um, so if anything, I don't have wrinkles and I don't have clogged pores. So that was the first item. Um, the next item that I have is actually a mascara that I use on a daily basis. I've had this mascara for a while. It's the only other mascara other than the, uh, Maybelline Lash Stiletto that I have repurchased again and again, just because it's like a really great mascara. So if you know me, I don't wear makeup. Not because I don't want to, it's just because I don't know how. So I try to find like the best mascara possible because I have fairly long lashes naturally. I just have really small eyes, so it's kind of hard to tell, but I'll put a little picture here. Um, so I try to find like the best mascara possible to kind of highlight and draw attention to my eyes just because I don't wear makeup elsewhere. So it's like, let me look somewhat put together. But the mascara that I'm talking about right now that TikTok users are apparently raving about as well is the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Primer and Mascara Duo. So obviously primer is first, mascara is second. I let this dry for like literally maybe like 15 to 30 seconds before I apply the mascara though, just so that it's a little bit, um, it, it kind of like prevents it from clumping, but I don't really have any complaints about the mascara. I've been using it for a while. My only issue would probably be that if you don't wait for this to, this one to dry first a little bit, then it is more likely to clump. And I just, before I apply it, I actually just like wipe the excess product off and then I go through. But I really like it. It really actually kind of helps. The primer helps curl your lashes a little bit or like kind of fan them out. And then the mascara does a really good job at giving them some volume. So I'm actually wearing it right now. It's nothing crazy, but it definitely like gives your eyelashes a little bit of an extra, an extra pizzazz without, you know, looking crazy. 
and without having to apply fake lashes. But yeah, so if I were to rate this product, I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10, just because sometimes it can get a little bit clumpy. So definitely a 9 out of 10, but I would recommend it hands down. Um, okay, so I'll talk about another. I have a couple beauty products and then there's like a few that aren't beauty. So we'll do the beauty ones first and then I'll go to the other ones. Sorry. My nose is running away. Okay, so the next item that I'm going to be talking about is a lip plumping lip gloss, which a lot of people talk about often um, about different brands to this concept because so many girls go and get their lips done, but then others will find these products and they use that rather than getting their lips done. So I have thought about getting my lips done. I haven't yet, but we'll see. Um, so I definitely wanted to try one of these products out. Ugh, sorry, my hair is getting my face. There's one, I don't know the exact name of it, but there's one that like everybody's talking about on TikTok and it apparently, like the packaging of it even says like caution or whatever. I don't know if that's just to be like cute or if it's like literally trying to be like <laughs> cute, but seriously, be careful. So I decided to do some reviews and I found a similar lip plumping gloss, but it is by the brand Soap and Glory and it just seemed a little bit more subtle with the ingredients so it didn't seem like it was gonna make my lips feel like I got stung by a bee. So this one is the Pillow Plump XXL by Soap and & Glory. And I've actually used Soap & Glory brand before. I used to have like a lotion from them that I really liked. So I figured I'd probably like this, this gloss, but let's just see. So these are my lips now. I have chapstick on, but chapstick's not gonna do anything. Just plump it a little bit. I don't know how much of this I'm supposed to put on, but I just put it on like regular lip gloss. My lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss is popping. Okay, so I'm gonna let that kind of like do its thing because I'm sure it's gotta like set for a couple seconds or a minute or so to see if it works. Um, so I'll get back to that and I'll rate it next. The next item I want to talk about though is the Ardell Naked Lashes. So if you are a huge beauty guru, you're super into makeup, um, this might be something that you want to try out yourself. They were only $5. I got them from Ulta. I don't wear a lot of makeup, again, I don't even wear lashes ever, <laughs> but um, thanks to my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. But um, I have worn them like once or twice. I actually wore them for my 23rd birthday and I'll post a pic because my look was fire, okay? Toot my own horn because, wow, I did that. Just kidding. Diana did that. But <laughs> shout out to Diana because she slays my face. Um, but I did actually pick up eyelashes for this look from the same brand. I just wasn't their naked line. So I guess their naked line are like lashes that look more natural. And that's usually what I want most. So I figured if I can find some fake lashes that look natural, but still be able to add a little bit of extra to the look, um, I would definitely like to give them a try. Cause there are times where like, I would probably want to try some fake lashes for certain outfits, like my 23rd birthday, my 24th is coming up, which I don't even really know if that counts because quarantine has basically taken half of 2020 already. So did I even get to be 23 for a full year? No. So we might just celebrate my 23rd birthday again this year. And I don't care if that's like not a real thing or not, but it might be for me. So um, I haven't tried these out yet. Obviously they're still in the box, but I was kind of saving them for a somewhat special occasion because one, I don't even know how to put them on. I'm going to have to read the instructions, but I didn't want to like waste them. So I did just want to show you guys because a lot of people were raving about them on TikTok. So I figured I'd at least purchase them. Okay. We got to fix this. I'm sorry. Figured I'd at least purchase them so you guys could um, like check it out yourself if that's something you're interested in. But if I do, when I do wear them, I will definitely post a picture with them on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. That way you can kind of see how they look, um, how they feel, the application process, um, and you can get your rating on it. So um, can't really give that one a rating yet either. <laughs> But it is what it is. We'll get there eventually. So my lips are kind of starting to tingle. I'm not going to lie. Like they don't burn. They don't itch. They're just like, feels like I'm like hum humming or like purring. I'm like, do they look different? 
Do I look like Kylie Jenner? Just kidding. <laughs> so, I mean, I like it. Even if it's not, like, I feel like it's plumping them a little. I don't know. Is it? I mean, I like it. It's not bothering my lips. It's not irritating them. And I feel like a lot of the lip plumping glosses do that. I actually have a different one that I used to use. I ran out of it because I used it all. It was like the lip infatuation. I forget who it was by, but I also I got that one at Sephora. And that one worked really well too. It was a, like kind of the same concept. Like your lips would tingle a little bit. I think that one was a little bit more intense. But it did, it doesn't make you go from no lips to Kylie Jenner lips, but it gives you a little bit of a plump. So I feel like this, this did its job. Like it gave my lips a plump, it gave them a nice little gloss. So I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's not, yeah. I don't really have any complaints, so I like it. I mean, it was $14 for lip gloss, so it's kind of like, eh. But then again, makeup is pretty pricey nowadays, so. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I like it. Pillow plump. My lips aren't burning and they're not super red like other products do, so I'll take that in some plump over overload plump and be sting on my lip. So, what next? All right, let's, I don't have, I need a towel to wipe this off so I can do the next product. BRB. Lip gloss is off my lips. I'm gonna try another lip product. Um, and this one is by the brand e.l.f. So it is their lip exfoliating lip gloss. Um, and it's basically, or lipstick, sorry. So it's basically like a regular looking lipstick, but it's got little like micro beads in it that help exfoliate your lip. So the cool thing about this, as opposed to like traditional lip scrubs, is that it's in a stick. So it's a lot easier to apply. It's a lot less messy. Um, so I really like that about it. And the packaging, it looks literally just like lipstick. So it's super cute. I feel like I could honestly throw this in my bag. So throughout the day, if my lips are chapped, boom. Now let's see how it feels and if it works. Oh my god. I can like actually feel the little beads are like That's crazy. I love this. So like when you're applying it, you can feel it exfoliating your lips. And then like as you rub it in, like the beads go away, you don't feel them as much, and it feels like regular chapstick. I mean, you're not gonna be able to tell a difference, but lately my lips have been so chapped and I don't know why they're chapped. I don't know how to fix it. Cause it's like, it was consistent. This is like lip heaven in a bottle or a stick. I like this. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend this. It's like super convenient because I feel like it kind of works as like two different things. Like it's a duo, it's a two in one. It's chapstick and an exfoliator. This is going in my purse. I think I'm gonna buy like five more. There were $4 too. So I'm gonna buy like five more, make sure I have one in my purse, in my car, at my house. And it tastes really good. This one's Sweet Cherry, I think. Yeah, and I apparently the like most popular flavor I think is like the brown sugar one, but there's also a coconut one. And I think there's one more, I don't know what the flavor of it is, but I really like this. And e.l.f. I feel like sometimes really doesn't get enough credit for their products because they're so cheap and a lot of people will like kind of knock them because they're a drugstore brand, but a lot of their products are actually really good, their quality, like you pay $4 and you get a really decent product. I'm impressed, Elf. So if you want to sponsor my next video and send me a shit ton of makeup, I'll learn how to do my makeup. Okay, next product. <laughs> uh, this one also is a beauty product. This is one of the last two beauty products I'm going to go through, and it is a self-tanner. So I'm pretty pasty. Well, not pasty. I'm, I'm on the paler side right now, but I am someone who, if I go outside, I can tan in an hour like I can tan very easily and if you're like me like my dad's Italian so I 
can tan easier. I know there's a lot of people who have fair skin and they just burn right away. I know there's people who can tan like me just by going outside and being outside, not even tanning, just being outside. Um, so I don't know if you have this same issue, but I will tan everywhere, face, body, but because I wash my skin and I, I mean, I wash my body too, but <laughs> I exfoliate my skin a lot and I wash, um, like I have a routine for my face. So I feel like the tan doesn't last as long for my face. Um, so I wanted to try something that was going to be gentle enough on my skin, but would also kind of maintain the tan to my face so that it would match my body because my body will stay tan for a while and my face will stay tan for like half the amount of time. So I have tried a couple different tanner, like self tanners, not necessarily for my body, but more so for my face. Um, and some of them are a little bit too harsh. Other ones just don't really seem to do the job. Others make me look orange. So the cool thing about this one is that it like the formula kind of messes with your pH balance and the melanin in your skin itself. And it kind of works together to provide a natural looking tan. So when I apply this, I don't look orange. Like it looks like a natural skin color to me. Um, and I just usually use a, like a cotton ball and I'll damp it and then I'll kind of apply it to my face evenly. If you don't do it evenly, yes, it can look a little bit orange or off cause I've done it before and it looked orange on my forehead. I didn't blend it in well enough. Um, but there's different shades as well. So there's a light, there's a medium, and there's a dark. I got the medium one, um, but I'll kind of show you what the bottle looks like. Isle of Paradise, self-tanning water. So there's different ways you can use this. You can apply it to, you can like mix it into your moisturizer or like your body lotion. Um, you can even use like a little self-tanning pad. Um, Cause I did actually try it out on my body as well and it worked just as well. So if you're someone who doesn't tan easily or you just burn really fast, but you do need color, you have an event coming up or something, you can use this product and honestly, within minutes, like you'll start to see the color change. And like the longer it sits and like you kind of allow it to work itself in, the shades will go a little bit darker. Um, so give it like a day and you'll be like the perfect shade. But I really, really like this product and I would, 10 out of 10 recommend this to anybody. Um, it's really gentle on my skin too. Like I said, I use it more on my face than I do my body, but I think if it works for my face, it works for my body. So 10 out of 10, I love this product. The only thing I would say, I ordered it off of Amazon and it came in the mail, like the packaging, cause I had this before I did the video as well, but it came in the mail and the bottle was busted. So that kind of got me mad because it's like, I can't really like spray it without it like leaking. So I might need to get like a new bottle, but still a 10 out of 10. Um, okay, so the last product I have as far as beauty goes is this mood changing lipstick. So apparently there's like a lipstick out there. I, I think the brand is Essence and that one was sold out everywhere. So I had to just kind of grab a random one from Ulta. So I got the J Cat Mood Flick, the holographic lipstick. So these lipsticks apparently mess with the pH levels also in your lips and they provide the perfect shade based on your tone. Um, so like it'll be the same shade of lipstick in the bottle, but if I apply it to my lips, it might turn a different shade than if someone else with a different um, skin tone applied it to their lips or like, I don't know. It just, it, it just works to find your perfect shade. Okay. Well, first of all, this is busted. Half the product's like in the cap. So I'm not too happy about that. That's kind of frustrating. Um, and I will say like the box that I got from Ulta with the other products too, like the e.l.f. box, this one was busted too, not the product with the box. Um, and that's kind of frustrating because like I paid for these products. So I wasn't happy about the shipping on that. So that doesn't get a high rating, but let's give this a shot. So this, I'm gonna show you the color of it. It looks like a purple lilac and it's super, super shimmery and sparkly. God, let's see. I feel like it's gonna be like a decent pink though. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Wait, give it a minute. 
Shut up. It's got, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> it's gonna change, I swear. This is not my perfect shade. Tastes like bubble gum. I'm waiting for it to change to my perfect shade because this is not it. This looks like I kissed a unicorn's. Fantastic. Okay, well, this is not <laughs> the one that's raved about on TikTok turned out when the girl that I saw use it applied to her lips. She used, I think it was the brand Essence and like, she used a uh, one that looked clear and it turned to like this beautiful shade of pink for her lips. And then she used like a dark brown looking one that turned to like a beautiful, beautiful red. The one I buy turns me to a fairy. Fantastic. So I don't recommend this whatsoever. This looks like I kissed a fairy. This is like EDC makeup. And even then I wouldn't wear it. It makes my teeth look yellow. I got an iron tooth. This was meant for like a five-year-old. So J-Cat Beauty Mood Flick in, <laughs> in Mood Swings. <laughs> not a fan. I am not a fan. The name's kind of funny though, cause like, I don't like it. Oh my God. It doesn't even come off. Nothing elf can't work. Oh no, it's gonna turn my elf lipstick. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. All right, rating for that product is like a two out of 10. I feel like, okay, it wasn't that expensive. It was like $6. So would I recommend it maybe for like a little girl who's six years old? Sure, maybe then it's like a seven out of 10. But even then, like this thing doesn't come off. I'm not gonna like play dress up with a little girl on the weekend and then send her to school on Monday and then she looks like a hooker. So, um, yeah, two out of 10 mood flick. All right, so that was all of the beauty products that I purchased. The next product I'm gonna talk about is, um, it was a failure. So I don't have it. I just threw it away. I should have kept it for the video, but I was like, no, I'm just gonna throw up a picture. Um, so there was this product that everyone was raving, I guess, on TikTok. And it was like this 3D keepsake that, you make yourself so it's like it's one of those like hand sculpture things where you have to make the first mix and i did that so i can include a video of it um but like you make the first mix and it's like gooey and jelly because it's the mold so you stick your hand in it whichever pose or whatever you want to do you could do like a peace sign a hang ten rock on i've seen people like do like where they're holding hands with their significant other and they like dip it in the the mold then you have to make like the cement or like the hardening um, mixture. And then you pour it into the mold and you let it sit for 24 hours. Well, I did that. I even read the instructions three times and almost had an anxiety attack because it was so much and because it was really gooey and it like grossed me out. So I do not like my hands being messy. Like when we were in kindergarten and we had to make those cute little turkey, happy Thanksgiving little cards and stick our hand in paint and then put it on the card and make it look like a turkey? No, I was not having it that day. I was not for it. I just don't like the feeling of it. So I'm not gonna lie, like making this product or like the 3D keepsake thing, doing the mold part of it, ugh, it was gross. <laughs> I was freaking out and I was totally being dramatic, but it was still very gross. So um, I made it and it tells you like when you pour in the cement that you have to like bang it on the table so that the cement will drop all the way down to the bottom and fill like the entire mold. Well, I did that and then some of it got on my mom's computer. So I had to stop doing that. <laughs> Hope she doesn't watch this video. I cleaned it though, so it's okay. But I stopped like, cause I got it enough. So after I did the entire thing, I was like, 
I don't think I got enough down. Like, I don't think I put enough of the cement in to where it's gonna cover the entire hand. Well, it didn't, cause this was the final product. So mind you though, I had a really cute idea. I was like, you know what? Everyone probably does like a peace sign or they do like holding hands or something. So I'm gonna do something that's cute and decorative, but it's also purposeful and it's useful. So I was like, I'll just hold my hand like this and then I'll stick it in the, the mold. That way when I bring it out, it can like hold my rings on it. It can hold my watches. I could even set my phone in it. <laughs> Wow, I'm creative and people think I'm not artistic. Well, this is why. That's how it turned out. Three out of five fingers made it. <laughs> and I actually have all five fingers, so. Yeah, that was a little disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. So I don't think it was the product necessarily. I think it was, you know, the person doing the project. But um, my art teacher may, she may agree with that. Um, but yeah, so I would probably still give it a 10 out of 10 or like a 9 out of 10. I wasn't crazy about, okay, I lied. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 just because um, I feel like even though I didn't do a phenomenal job, I still feel like it didn't turn out that great. And I mean, I read the instructions to a T. So I didn't really care for the process of it either. It was pretty messy and... Um, the like molding part was weird, but whatever. Maybe I'm just being dramatic. So I'd give it an eight out of 10. It was a cool experience. Would I do it again? Probably not because it was like $40 and it didn't even work. Again, it could have been my fault, but whatever. We're not going to keep attacking. Okay. So eight out of 10 moving on. Next product I'm going to talk about is something that I had my eye on prior to filming this video, but I actually was looking into the Blender Jet. Um, so it's a portable blender. I was looking into the brand Blender Jet by Jen Selter, or she's affiliated with it, I think, um, because I'm always, always, always on the go. And there's times where like I have to do so much and I don't have enough time to make a shake, but I need to keep my calorie count um, at a certain level. So I was like, this is gonna be so convenient for me. I can literally grab my portable blender, keep it in my gym bag, and then throughout the week or like every night, I can make little sandwich baggies full of whatever I'm gonna put in my protein shake and leave it in the fridge or the freezer. So the next morning before I leave, I just grab that, my portable blender is in the car and I go. And whenever I'm ready for the, the shake, I just make it. Um, obviously I'd have to keep the ingredients in a fridge, but like at work, I'm saying. So this is the one that I ended up purchasing. I ended up just getting one off of Amazon, like not the Blender Jet one because they didn't have the Blender Jet on Amazon. And I was already purchasing some of the other products for this video. So I figured one stop shop. Um, but I ended up getting one that was like 15 ounces. So it seemed like a decent portion. In person, it's a lot smaller, so it kind of sucks. Um, definitely a lot smaller than the shakes I'm used to drinking, but I also use a Ninja typically, and that's a lot more powerful. So um, for the purpose of it being, you know, on the go, I think it works really well. I think it's really clever. Um, it was a little intimidating though. So before I used it, thank God, I decided to clean it and like I twisted it off and I was like, okay, and I was like, Imagine I had a shake in this. I'd be wearing it, not even drinking it. So I was like, well, that's a good thing I looked at it before I decided to make the shake. So you, and if any of you try to say that you would not have came to that same realization, that you would have known better, stop watching my video now. I'm just kidding, keep watching my video, but just keep your comments to yourself. I mean, I guess you can comment, but just comment something nice. <laughs> So it does come with an extra lid. So when you're making it, you have to like blend it, whatever. I like kind of shook it a little bit um, to kind of help it, but you blend it and then you flip it, twist the like machine part of it off and put the other cap on or put your straw on and start to drink it. Um, so like I said, for the purpose of it, it actually works pretty well. It's super convenient. It's gonna be better than me not being able to get my shake in and my protein. It also came with like a cute little cleaning kit and then it came with a mini ice cube tray. So that was one thing when I made my shake, I actually didn't use ice this time and I always use ice in my shakes. 
um, but this was a lot smaller and I felt like it was a lot less powerful than my Ninja. So I didn't want to break it. Um, but then I realized it came with like this little mini ice tray. So I think the next time I use it, I'll probably try to use, um, the ice tray as well. And then it just came with a charging cord to charge the bottom part of it. So rating wise, um, I probably give it a, like a seven or an eight out of 10. Um, I mean, I didn't expect it to be as durable and as powerful as my Ninja, but I did at least expect a little bit more out of it. And the fact that it was a lot smaller than I had imagined it coming, cause 15 ounces seemed decent, but then like getting it in person, I was like, what? So still like a pretty cool concept. I do like it. I only have made a shake at home with it once. So it's not like I've even gotten to try to use it while I'm on the go. So I feel like it's definitely going to come in handy come the time that I actually use it on the go. Um, but I will let you guys know when that time comes and I actually use it. Um, next product and my dog BRB. All right. So I'm back. Sorry about that. Dogs are barking and I have a psycho dog. But anyways, I only have two items left for the TikTok made me buy it. Um, and they are not beauty related. They're actually fitness related. My other true love. So everyone raves about these Lululemon dupes that they found on Amazon. And it's not just TikTok users. Like I've heard a lot of people talking about them. Um, just because everybody wants like quality gym wear, but they don't want to pay the ridiculous prices that some brands charge. So I decided to give them a shot. So the brand I think everyone's referring to is 90 Degrees by Reflex. Um, and I ended up purchasing their 7 8 pants or like their cropped leggings. And I ordered them, ordered them in the color Pink Ocean, which online they looked more like a bubblegum color. And in person, they're like a mauvey pink. So they're still super cute. It's just they didn't come in the color they looked like. So a little bit deceiving, but it's okay. Um, my only complaint with them is that the waistband is kind of thick and I'm really not a fan of pants that have like a very thick waistline because it cuts into the booty sis and we all want to stay looking thick. So that was a no go. But honestly, everything else about the pants, I love. They're super comfy. They're a little bit thicker than like seamless leggings, but they're not as thick as like fleece leggings. So they're perfect for the gym. Um, they don't, they're not see-through, they don't show too much. They're super stretchy, they're super comfy to even wear if you're wearing them like to run errands or just lounge around in. Um, and they were 25 bucks, so you can't really beat that. I would definitely give them like a nine out of 10. Um, they're not like my favorite pair of leggings I've ever owned, but they're definitely like, they're definitely ones that I would repurchase. So check those out, 90 Degrees by Reflex. And then the last item is also another fitness item. It is a sports bra. It's not from the same brand, um, but it is like another Amazon dupe. It's from the brand Running Girl. Um, and I ended up getting it in a size small, which the leggings actually were a size small too. And they fit pretty true to size. I'm typically a small in sports bras and like a small to medium in bottoms. Just depends. Um, but the sports bra is really, really comfortable. The color is cute. It's got a cute little crisscross back. The only thing I didn't like about the sports bra was that the padding in it was ridiculous. It gave me like super boobs, but straight padding, no boob. So that was a little annoying, um, but I took it out and like you can't see through it or anything. So that was really nice because I can still use it to my comfortability. Um, and I think I paid 18 for it. So price wise, I think both of them are on point. Like they're really great prices for pretty good quality um, or like really good quality really good quality <laughs> um and they fit like true to size and it's definitely a lot better than paying like 90 dollars for pants and 50 dollars for a sports bra so not knocking lululemon i'm just i work out so much that i often like to kind of switch it up and get new gear um and i'd rather that than having gear that's going to last me forever because i'm not necessarily going to want to stay in those styles forever um, or just certain styles will probably fit my body better as it changes while I work out. Um, but that's just me. So would I recommend either of these, both of these? Yes, I give them like both a 9 out of 10. Because again, they're not my favorite products, like favorite gym wear ever. I'm still loyal to my Do You Even Fitness um, and navigation as well. But they are really good dupes for Lululemon. So 
that concludes my video i hope you guys enjoyed it you guys know what you have to do like it comment subscribe share it with a friend your mom your sister your cousin i don't care just share it and show me love i'll put my instagram tag down below so you guys can follow me on instagram as well and i'll talk to you soon in my next video till then stay hustling and stay humble